All right, we've got a train 90% furnace here. Looks like two blinks. So, let's open it up. Diagnostic codes, two flashes, external lockout, retries or recycles exceeded. Got one slow flash right now. It is probably on the delay for the thermostat. Um, everybody's got these new T6 Pro Honeywell thermostats. And I'll tell you right off, I am not a fan of them. Um, I have always used on the low end systems, entry level systems, I've used the Honeywell 5000 or the Honeywell 6000 as our house thermostats that come with the systems when you buy them, you know. And uh, looks like now Honeywell's going to stop making those. So, isn't that great? And that T6 Pro is our replacement for a lot of them a little bit cheaper but <clears throat> not everybody likes them and i'm certainly one that doesn't so here comes our call for heat and i hear water in the flue pipe big time Yep. And there is no doubt what I'm looking at. Downhill flue pipe. Absolutely is the problem. Oh, jeez. All right, well, let's figure out a way to get this corrected. You know, as a service. Tech, I don't carry around a lot of stuff, but here we go. Alright, so I took the strap loose and dropped it down. Obviously, a bunch of water rushed out of it, and there was nothing to seal it. Um... No RTV silicone, which is what it calls for, and not even the lame failed excuse most have of putting PVC glue on it, which doesn't work, but it'll at least hold it some. It always leaks. But there was actually nothing on it. Not real thrilled with these installers today, but uh, so I'm going to cut this off. I did manage to find a 45 couple little pieces some RTV Some glue so I think we can I think we, we can fix this. Let's just uh, Get it taken care of right quick Shouldn't 
have to do this, but that's the story. If you are already located in the upstate area of the Carolinas where we are, please look me up and give me a call. You know, you would think paying these installers anywhere from four or five and sometimes six hundred dollars a day you would think that you could get some high quality installation practices um, imposed but as you can see Five is not perfect right here. But it does look like we can make it work. I'm going to Put a little mark right here. Glue that on and get it solid. I tell you, man, this uh, sometimes. It's a little old. Go behind the installers that you pay to hopefully do a good job. It's not always like this. Uh, obviously. Or I would, uh, I would strive to make a change <coughs> quicker but you run into this more often than I would like okay Just let that cure, harden up, whatever. And we'll put our RTV silicone on this last joint right here where it goes in the furnace. So I'm going to fill this. This red RTV which will seal it from leaking Try to do is get some support here. Should 
shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to let this sit up just a few minutes while I put the fuse up and police up this area for a minute. All right, so we got it fixed. We put some RTV silicone on a little short piece going straight into a 45. Going straight into the flue pipe that now goes straight out without any really bad dips in it. It, it may still make a small dip there at that duct pipe, but it is greatly downhill from there so the water should run back through the furnace like it is supposed to and uh, we should have all this straightened out so let's fire it back up and see what happens Good. So, we'll do a couple of minutes here. It's not as long as the call for AC delay is. I think it's compressor protection delays like five minutes. And this heating one, I noticed as we waited on it a few minutes ago, it was only maybe two minutes, three minutes. I do not hear any bubbling in the flue pipe. The inducer is running. And we have our normal call for heat flash. This is all just kind of sloppy. Plastic's all jerked around. Like I said, if you are a high quality installer looking to move to the upstate of South Carolina or maybe you're somewhere near here anyway and you want to make a career change our installers make an average of about 500 a day some of the easier ones, easier ones, may be 400, some may be 600, but it averages out at about 500 per day. So anyway, we're up and running, and I think, uh, I think we're probably going to be okay at this point. So we're going to watch it for a couple minutes and go ahead and leave it. Straightened out another little minor problem that caused a major symptom. So, thanks for watching and have a good